What's up everybody? Happy Halloween for starters. It is my favorite holiday out of the year, so I wanted to do something special to celebrate. This is going to be one giant collectible haul, where I show you how I display some of the new collectibles that I just recently got in, and how I integrate some of the Lego sets that I'm gonna be building in this video into that display, the one that you usually see behind me. This is probably going to be a long video and I don't want to take up more time. Let's start with an unboxing. So I'm gonna open a few uh, designer toys that I just picked up uh, actually a few months ago. Believe it or not, I've been saving it for this video, so it's kind of been killing me knowing that these are sitting there unopened. Kim Park's Lab, they are a Korean-based company. For anyone that doesn't know, my favorite color is yellow. And the first time that I saw this guy, I was hooked. I saw him and I was like, I have to have that because he's absolutely adorable. And I'm glad that I found one. This is basically what we're gonna be seeing, just some Halloween themed ones. So let's see what's inside. Halloween edition, cubing Franken. They really take pride in how they produce this stuff. I don't even wanna break this seal. Take a look at that. And it comes with, oh, this is, is this real? Oh my gosh, is this stone? This is Kim Park's lab. And so he just sits on this, just like that. And boom. Oh, very well packaged, by the way. Oh, and look. His legs go down and his legs go out. Oh, this is cool. So this is like a matte, matte green paint. I honestly like toys that have this polish, this uh, gloss. And he also comes with a stone seat. These aren't going to be part of the display per se, but I love anything Halloween themed. And I was really looking forward to the chance where we got to go to downtown Disney so that I could pick these up. These are just some pins for this Halloween year. You got Pluto here, the castle made of candy. This one is my favorite. I love the color. Got Goof, the jester, hands off my bounty because he's a bounty hunter, get it? Oh, look at those, those are just adorable. And Chip and Dale with their treasure, which I'm assuming is candy. Whoops. So for those of you who are familiar with Funko and their products, this is their Paka Paka line, which is basically one of these, so it's like a blind mystery box called Boo Hollow. Oh, sorry, it's all dusty because I've been waiting to do this video. But uh, the designer is Riso O'Brien, and he also has a designer toy company of his own, which is called Tiny Ghosts. I think I have one next to me. Yeah, this is one of his three inch uh, Tiny Ghosts. This glows in the dark. Uh, he's got like an orange one. I'm also gonna be using these for part of the display as well. So you'll see those on the shelf. So some of the Lego sets that I was talking about, I've been getting these slowly piece by piece over time and I caught a bunch of these that were on sale. I think these are totally underrated. There's this set that I picked up. This is the school, it's like a haunted school. Last one, I uh, this was actually a gift from a good friend, Juan. Thank you Juan and Lisa and Ben for giving this to me for my birthday last month. And I did build this one already. I built it on stream. I am part of a podcast. We're called the Average Nerd Podcast, and you can find us wherever you listen to podcasts, whether it's Apple Music, Spotify, etc. We are also on Twitch, and I built this live on stream. And as I said in some of my previous videos, we do love interacting with the chat, so stop on by, say hello. Uh, we'd love to see you there. I should have a link in the description below for both the podcast and our Twitch channel, so feel free to follow and check us out. And so the goal is to basically fill the top of that. All right, we got these guys. We have some of the Paka Paka, which I've already got. Whoops. This Freddy vinyl is Dracula or vampire. I'm even gonna integrate some other buildings. So Funko HQ, 
the up house. We have this TV set right here. Mickey Jack-O-Lantern. We got this at Disneyland 2018, I think. And we also picked up a new one this year because it has blue accent detail. And yes, that was enough for me to want it because it was that much different from this one. 2018, 2020. Oddly enough, this blue or teal detail that they added or changed works. It's not a typical Halloween color, but I like it. On the front, you get these blue spider webs. Still love the one from 2018, but that was enough of a difference for me to be like, you know what, I think we need both. But now it makes me wonder if there was one for 2019 that I missed entirely. And I'm gonna have to look that up. These are some of the houses or parts of the town that we picked up from Target that would be really cool background for the whole shelf while all of the figures and stuff go in front. Well, I rearranged it, but I put stuff back into their categories. I couldn't help but be bothered by the fact that everything looks so messy. That's just me by nature. I like to have things in rows and organized by section. And I'm, I'm definitely much happier with how this is looking. So right now I have the hidden side Lego sets that I mentioned up here up top with these target backdrops. And a few stuff in between. We have this Oogie Boogie here, the Mighty Jacks, Jason Freeney Reptar. And so I'm gonna continue to build the rest of the Lego sets that I have, the hidden side Lego sets, and just kind of put them up here on top. Uh, I did move a few of the things up here to this top shelf. So got one of the Mickey pumpkins, the Halloween sign, some of these Target lights here with the tree on top that's also from Target. The eek sign slowly coming together the yeah I'm, I'm not done with this I'm gonna I'm gonna fix that probably re rearrange a few of these I, I'm happy with the, these top four and then how that top is looking I'll probably fix these I'm gonna build this first and I have a few more to build so I'm gonna get started I also want to add this is just my personal preference too. There's nothing wrong with having a variety in the boxes or in your shelves or in your displays. I've seen collectors do really amazing displays with a more eclectic approach, uh, a variety in each shelf going color coordinated. I went back to this and personally for my taste, I'm just happier with how I have this displayed right now. And I'm gonna move forward with this and see how I like it by the end of I guess setting up this display, finishing the Lego sets, and then we'll see where we're at there.
progress report. So, finished the school bus. There's just so much going on with this thing. I have it set up right now where um, these haunted or possessed construction workers are basically going to battle with this scientist. All of this stuff is, uh, see these go in, this can come out, you can open the door. I have the extra parts in there right now, but you can open the door. This top comes off, and then this is my favorite part. You got a little skate pod that comes out of the back. Like a possessed porta potty <laughs> but the best part about this, hold on, you gotta take those out. Little discs. Kind of funny that it's uh, it's brown, don't you think? But anyway, so it's there. If you watch, shoots it out. I don't even know if I showed this off yet. Ha! If I can, if I can do it. There we go. Let's try that again. Time to build the Newberry Haunted High School. 1,474 pieces. Probably not going to go into as much detail building this and the rest of the sets like I did with the Cantina. But I'll show a little bit and then the final product, of course, you'll see that. So let's do it. Man, how come when other people do that on YouTube, it's done? Okay, mine doesn't work. So I just had to pause while I was building this. I'm almost done. This is the back side of it. I thought these details were really cool. This part, it looks like a board for snacks that they could get. There's a croissant, pizza, and a hot dog on there. These kids get cupcakes, pizza. There's like cherries and a banana down there. But I do have a question. I don't know what these two things are supposed to represent. Is this supposed to be like two types of juices? Condiments? I don't know. Let me know in the comments what you guys think these two things are. I'm, I'm not sure because it's orange and green, so it's not like it's ketchup and mustard. Barbecue sauce and relish? I don't know. Let me know what you all think. This is totally not a skateboard, but while I was building it, I thought it was a skateboard. Let's see if I can ollie this thing real quick. Ollie over the snacks. All right, here we go. Just got this in the mail. Let's open it up and check out what's inside. Booberry soda with the potential of a chase. Um, I've been seeing a ton of people get chases online and then post it already. So let's test our luck and let's see how we did. Booberry soda. At that cardboard circle, pog, whatever it's called on the inside. Come in, all right. Looks really good. I can't wait to put this on the shelf with the rest of my soda. Oh, just so glad to even have one of these. For Again, 4,500. That seems pretty limited for a popular character. And this is a common. I'm actually fine with having two commons. These look really cool. I don't know if I'll keep them both or if I'll give one away. Or I have to check in to see if any of my other friends uh, miss out on this drop. And if they just need the common as well, I'll happily give it to them. 
So here's the soda shelf with the booberry on it, obviously, and the rest of the ones I have. And the two chases that I got in the wild. And here we are with the final product of my Halloween display. All the stuff that I decided to keep up here on the top shelf is now here. I am really happy with how this set looks and how it turned out. It's a great centerpiece for the top shelf as far as the Lego town that I've put together here goes. And this Lego town is in combination with a few other things. We got the target displays in the background, the up house, I guess that's it. But the combination of all of those things, it still works out perfectly, looks great together. The balloons from the up house go perfectly with the fun house and the carnival theme from this, this set. Look at, look at these minifigs, these are crazy. Okay, so as you saw earlier, the school bus. Finish building that, put this up here on the display. This is what I built on stream, actually. If you want to check us out, The Average Nerd Podcast on Twitch. We do live stream pretty much every week, occasionally multiple times a week. You just have to um, catch our schedule. If you follow us, you'll get notifications when we do go live. But this was the one I built on stream while Jay was building a keyboard that he gifted to me that I'm really excited to use. Thank you again, Jay. My favorite part of this set probably has to be the yellow ghouls here. There's two of them. Glad I was able to pick a lot of this stuff up on sale because that helps a lot when you're picking up multiple Lego sets. I did want to show you the details of the, the Newberry High School because I think I've mentioned this before in a past video, in, in the Cantina video, that I think what makes a good Lego set is its playability. That's one of the factors. So for this one, you can choose to display it without all the ghoulish stuff coming out of it. Although, if you don't want that stuff displayed, I'm not sure why you would even get the set. I think that's kind of what makes it, is having all of this cool ghoulish detail. These actually go back here, and when this opens up, they slide out. I think that's part of the interactive side from the app that you can download to play with these sets virtually. I think if you go to lego.com slash apps, you should probably find the app for the hidden inside Lego sets, and I think there's apps for all the other stuff that you can play with if you have any of their other interactive sets. But, so yeah, I think this is a part of that somehow, and so that comes sliding out when you open up this top part. This opens up, there's a tab in the back. If you push, there's like a bathroom stall on this side and a bookshelf on the other side, and if you push on it, the claw comes, comes out. Let's just see if I can get this one better. Look at that, that spring. And then this, you turn the clock, the eyes come out. Great set, really happy with this. Um, even past Halloween, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna keep this up here. I like what people do with their Lego City sets, and I'm thinking of getting different ones that can go on top of here so I can replace these wooden backgrounds while it's not Halloween and maybe I can put different different towns or different uh, buildings. I still have my cantina set that I'm not sure I'm going to display. I think I can fit it on one of these bottom shelves here and just not have all the side components, but I don't know. I'll check it out. It, it might look cool up here, so I'll play around with it, see if I can add that up here. And that's about it. I had fun unboxing some of the stuff with you, getting those blueberries, even though there was no chase in there. I'm still happy with the commons building these Lego sets, unboxing those guys. It's been a lot of fun. I hope you all have a happy and safe Halloween. Until the next video, I'll see you all later.